Hello, and welcome to our show, Changing Lives. My guest with me is Robert Russo, and we're so excited to have him on. Thank you, Robert, for coming on. Thanks for having the me. show, I'm just so excited about all that you have going on. Thank you. Rob is here, and he's going to be talking about, Rob is an artist, and we'll be talking about paint night. So yes. we can start there on, how did you first get the idea to start a paint night? Well, one night, myself and my pastor, we took our two daughters to a paint night, and we all had a ball. It was a lot of fun. Like fun. Uh, the only thing was, it was in a bar, oh, and no. we were a little leery at first, but we said, you know what, we can, we can be there and, and not have to participate in some of the things that go on yeah. there. And True. we all had a real good time. And afterwards, you know, I sat down and we spoke with my pastor and I said, wouldn't this be great if people that can't come here had a spot where they could do this? Because if you think about it, there's a lot of people out there, whether they're recovering addicts, recovering alcoholics, yes. that don't want to be in that environment where they're mm. tempted to do things they, they stop doing and that they're proud of stopping doing. Right. So uh, we sat down, we talked it out, we worked the logistics out, and we decided, let's try it at our church. That sounds and great. And last month we had our first <clears throat> one at the church, and it was a huge success for wow. any ministry fresh out of the gun to have over 20 people come out and participate. Nice. And it was fantastic. Uh, all the proceeds, another thing that I like to do is the proceeds get donated um, for the one we had at church, it went to our building expansion ministry. Oh, nice. Because uh, we're going to be expanding our building. Okay. I have another one coming up this October uh, on the 13th. At the church? At the church on okay. Friday the 13th. Um, we're going to be doing one kind of uh, festive without being too spooky. It's a little black cat. Okay. We're going to be <laughs> painting. I love black cats anyway. It's a real cute one, very comical. <laughs> And I've already got 15, 20 people signed up for it. Okay. So it's a huge success. And we're taking the money from this one, and we're going to donate it to our youth ministry. Nice. So it's, it helps out two ways. It, it's got, it's some, something that I've gotten involved in now that okay. I enjoy. I've always enjoyed art. Mm. And it gets people together for fellowship in a different way. And, you know, we even had one person at the last class they said, I never knew I could paint. I enjoyed it so much. I'll be back for the next That's one. That's great. You know, it's That's a lot of excellent. fun. It's a lot of fun. Nice. Um, well, what makes your paint nights different um, from other ones besides? Well, like, like I said, first of all, we're doing it at the church and we're, I'm expanding now where we're going to talk about in a few minutes. Um, we're going to be at the upper room. Okay. Um, I'm also... I just put it on Facebook where we're gonna, I'm going to offer house parties if someone wants to do it at their house. Oh, nice. Um, that is different. We have the, the, the element mm. of being in a restaurant bar type atmosphere is not there. That's removed. So people tend to be a little more open and yes. willing to come out and try it, you know, because there's, there's exactly. not that bar element, there's not yeah. that alcohol element that some people, it appeals to them, but there's a lot of people out there it doesn't appeal to. Right. And we're this trying to reach great. those, trying to reach those that can't I'll be, be there. reached. There we go. <clears throat> It'll be fun. I will definitely be there because uh, Mike and I, we walk down Main Street in East Greenwich and there's a, a woman who has a shop and yep. a paint night, but it's with alcohol. What right. is it with paint night and alcohol? I guess is that like the people thing? are more brave with a paintbrush when they have <laughs> alcohol in them. I don't know. I think you, you can get a better painting, a better product. Without it. If you're fully coherent as you're doing yeah, it. absolutely. And you can have more fun, too. Yeah, definitely, you know? definitely. It's well, a, I'm looking forward to that. And the other thing that, we, you know, that I do as a ministry is you know, we take the proceeds. Once everything is paid for, all the materials and all that, okay. the proceeds get donated to whatever ministry within the church needs it, or if, you know, say you need to raise money for you had a flood in your basement. Wow. Have a paint party at That's your house, nice. and I'll give you the proceeds to help you with your flood in your basement, you That's know, right. whatever it is. Um, that is great. You know, like the upper room, 
which we're going to talk about, and I'm kind of yes. skipping ahead for Anya. That's okay. But uh, the Upper Room is an institution that's been in Rhode Island for over 16 years, mm -hmm. and they're going through some problems right now. So I met with the people there, and I said, why don't I come in and do a paint night? Right. See if we can generate some electricity, yes. you know, some more renewed interest, and keep this thing afloat. Because, mm. you know, it's always been there doing concerts. It's a Christian coffee house. Um, yeah. This is a Christian paint night. Nice. You know, nice. so why don't we have a paint night, see how many people we can get to come out. That and, sounds uh, great. We'll all get together. We're going to be painting a nice beach scene that day. Oh, boy. I love the beach. Yeah. Um, just so you know, the Upper Room Coffee House is in West Warwick, uh, 1221 Main Street. Yep in West Warwick, right in Arctic. Mark this down. Uh, what's the date? It's October 27th. October 27th. You don't want to miss PM. this night. We're going to paint. I'll be there. Excellent. Uh, uh, Mike and I also help in the ministry of the coffee house. Uh, my husband, Mike, people don't know. But I have a husband, Mike. Uh, <laughs> I do. That's how Rob I found you. my husband. But Mike and I, my husband, actually, we met at the coffee house, yeah. at the Upper Room Christian Coffee House. Um, and that was seven years ago. And so this ministry may, <clears throat> may close. Um, but, you know, we're going to try to have this. Yes, definitely. Uh, Rob is going to have this paint night so we can raise some finances to go toward the coffee house so it won't close. I'm believing that, you know, I'm believing it as God's well. will be done, that this coffee house will continue to, to progress. If we, if we get enough of people that night for paint night, yes. it's going to at least prolong it for a couple more months. So That'd that's a great, great. thing. Great. And you know, uh, if we can get a full house, even yes. better. You full know? house. Um, well, we have five minutes, five minutes left to the show. That's Ooh, it. That seems crazy. Like, wait a minute. I didn't Where think I did talked that much. Go? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, never mind. Um, <clears throat> wrong signal, but um, that's okay. So the coffee house, um, what was I going to say? There's live bands every Saturday night at the Christian Coffee yes. House. We are open uh, 6.30. The doors open at the coffee house. And um, the bands run sometimes till 10 o'clock even. I'm usually an early bird to leave. You can leave anytime. Yep. And all the food and everything is one dollar. Now on that night, you're the gonna, paint night. The we're paint gonna. Night. They're gonna also open up the kitchen. Oh good. And all the proceeds from the kitchen go to the upper room as oh, well. Oh good. So you know, it's two ways they can make money that night to try to keep the place afloat. Um, I think it's a great place. I can fit. We can fit. 50 people painting. So oh, good. if you're ready to come out, come on I'm out. Coming. It's, um, down. it's very easy as far as signing up to Mike's it. If you don't, it, but I'm going to paint. If you don't know where it is or you don't know how to get there or anything like that, on Facebook I have a page set up for paint night. Okay. If you look up either Rob Russo Art or Rob Russo Paint. Okay. On Facebook, you'll Great. find a, you'll find the page there. On that page, we have both the events, the one at Sacred Exchange Fellowship, which is my church, oh, okay. the one at the upper room. And the one for the upper room, I went a step further. We hooked that up into Eventbrite, which is a online ticketing agency. So people can actually go online, find out where it is for the upper room on the 27th, okay. and purchase their ticket right online. Okay. Print their ticket out and bring it with them that night. Oh, okay. Now, unlike some of the concerts that they have where they actually do a, an offering or they'll, you know, I know they've had comedy shows where they sell the tickets in it, you know, at the door. The okay. paint night, I can't stress enough that you need to buy your ticket ahead of time. You do? For the upper room? Right, so that I can plan ahead for how many people we're going to have. Okay. Because well, we, we want to make sure everybody you. has a canvas. Uh, yeah, you could call me too. My number we will be on the, the screen. On the screen um, but call. like I said, if you go to Facebook, okay. we look for the event, and then you can go right to Eventbrite and pay for it with a credit card. Print your ticket online. Makes it very simple. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Uh, so the proceeds will will help to keep the uh, Christian Coffee House going. Um, so what else do you want to talk about for the paint night? For well, let's talk about how I got here. Okay. Um, you know, you were talking about your husband. Uh, your husband and I go back 30, almost 40 years, I think. Uh, we wow. met. We met in junior high school, 
and we were friends back then. And then high school, college, we kind of went our own ways. Uh, he went to Cranston West, I went to Cranston East. Okay. And then uh, later on in life, we hooked up again. You know, God brought us together again. We met at a WARA in uh, Kix 106 back in the uh, 90s. Wow. He was working one half of the radio station. I was working on the other half. We'd cross paths, you know, take the elevator up together. You know, Mike would always be good for a few jokes. Now, yeah. Rob's talking about, in case you don't know, my husband, Michael Catanzaro, who actually works in the TV studio. He's behind the scenes. And he's also um, the director of the Christian Coffee House, The Upper Room. So in case you're wondering who is this, who's Rob talking about? He's talking about Michael Catanzaro. Yeah, uh, so he's go a great ahead. guy. He is. And, and he you, is know, now, <laughs> you know, now we're even a little, we're a little bit further in life, you know, and he's at The Upper Room and I've, seen you guys there a few times and you know it just it seemed to fit you know bringing the paint night to the upper room and uh you know trying to uh keep the tradition alive there it's just it's helped so many people over the years and i would hate to see the doors closed there so uh -huh. we're going to do whatever we can to keep yes, it going absolutely you know, we got to bring the cameras down there and do a show yeah. from there we could do that too right you know what whatever it takes right <laughs> we can do that too absolutely so that's wonderful and you know i just say god's will be done amen with the coffee house because really you know there are seasons for everything and sometimes you know there it, it may be it's so funny you, you know, say that you know seasons it reminds me of the book of ecclesiastes <laughs> yes and you know last year at this time i'm gonna have that song in my head now <laughs> i'm gonna share a little bit of my testimony um last year at this time i was sitting in a hospital bed Wow. And I was just coming out of a coma. Oh my Lord, Rob. Uh, my wife was being told by the doctors that I was not gonna make it, that I would die. Oh man, that's tough. And she said, no. She said, God tells me otherwise. Amen. And if there's one thing that the two of us listen to, it's God. Thank and you, Lord. And I was sitting in that hospital bed. I was not getting better. Did you uh, have an accident? Uh, no, I went in for a simple operation and it went bad. Um, I will not mention the hospital or the doctor or anything because I'm not like that. Praise God. Uh, you know, They'll praise God, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here, I'm alive, I'm praise well. Praise God, and, thank you uh, for doing that. You know, I had many, many oh, people man. come in, pray over me. Um, it was wow. one night I was just sitting there and I was depressed. Oh yeah. Because I had been there for so long. I was, it was like day 49, day 50 I was in the hospital. And I was just oh, depressed, and, and the Lord spoke to me and, and came to me in the room that night. And, uh, you know, he said, I don't know why you're so down. And I said, how can I not be? I, I can't eat, I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink, nothing by mouth at all. I was living off an IV feed tube in my stomach. Right, so and, that's an odd question, right? And, uh, how can you be so down? Right, and God says to me, he goes, you're already healed. Amen. The rest is up to you. So starting that very morning, I started listening to worship music every morning. Thanks God. And God sent a nurse in that was a Christian as well. Praise God. And every morning, whether I was awake or not, I would find a post-it note on my bed and it would have a different Bible verse on it. About healing. About healing. Yeah. And it was this nurse. Praise God. And she, every morning, faithfully every morning, she'd put a Bible verse Praise on my God. bed. And every day, I felt a little bit better and a little bit better. And on day 69, I came home. Wow, that's a miracle. It was a long God. journey, you know, and now I, you know, I feel God moving with this, this whole paint night idea and being able to use it to help other people. Praise God. You know, and being at that point in your life where you're almost dead, you know, even at my church, when I finally made it back to church, they had a shirt made out with the name La with Lazarus on it. Wow. And, uh, Jesus. you know, wow. being that close, you get a whole new appreciation for life. Yes, absolutely. And if God is right. pushing me in this direction of using the ability he gave me, you know, it's a talent. True. He gave me a talent. You know, if, if it's meant to be, it's going to multiply beyond what, anything I can imagine at this point. You know, at first he put it on my heart to do it at my church. Right. And then he said, okay, you started. 
now let's keep going. That's great. You know, so I, I could see us bringing this to other churches, you know, uh, other ministries such that a need ministry. help. You know, it's a ministry that helps a ministry. That's that's yeah. what I love about it. That's great. You know, it can help. Or people. It help people. Even. Yeah. Oh, that's You know, wonderful. it's doing God's work. Amen. And you're using the talent He gave me to do it. Wow. I, I can't think of anything better to no, do. I know. I was just going to say that. What better, you know, than using the talent that you already have? And you went to school for artwork? Well, uh, back in the day when Mike and I were high school students, yeah. you know, I wanted to, uh, I actually wanted to go to RISD. And my dad was an old Italian man. And he said, I'm going to use the hands. He said, how are you going to support a family going to, to go into an art school? Oh, no. So I didn't go to art school. I did go to school for architecture, right. uh, which I did get a job drafting for a little while. But then the computers came in and took over everything. Oh, no. And I wasn't willing to sit behind a computer all day. I like the creative aspect of having a pencil in my hand. Absolutely. So, you know, it went on the back burner for many years. And when I got to the church I'm at now, Sacred Exchange, um, one of the first things that struck me is we have a chalkboard at the front of the church and it's four <laughs> feet by eight feet. It's a huge wow. chalkboard. And there was a woman that would do it every week. She would put the Bible verse okay. and do a little bit of artwork to go with it, like some flowers or something like that. Yeah. Well, one week she was sick. Oh. And my pastor, no idea, you know, says to me, can you draw it all? <laughs> I said, I'll give it a shot for That's you if you'd funny. like. And it was the Christmas program. Okay. That's what we had to do the chalkboard for. <laughs> you know, so I uh, took an hour or to two. <laughs> took an hour or two, did the manger with the three wise men coming over the hill with the star. Absolutely. He came in, he's like, you did that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I did that. So That's he's like, great. so he called the woman that usually do it. He called her husband over. He's an usher there. He's like, look at the chalkboard. He's like, who did that? Wow. He's like, Rob did. <laughs> he's like, I'm telling my wife, I'm taking a picture now. <laughs> That's great. So he took a picture. He sends it to his wife. Next thing I know, within a week, I got a phone call. I got to talk to you about something. I'm like, okay. She's like, you did a nice job on that chalkboard. <laughs> That's funny. She goes, would you like to try doing it once a week? Wow. And I said, well, I, I said, when I came here, I said, the first thing I thought of was it would be great to be able to do it. I said, but that's your thing. <laughs> she goes, well, I'm ready to hand it off if you want it. <laughs> that's great. And that was almost two years ago. Oh, wow. Every Sunday I do a chalkboard there, and that's what reignited my, my uh, passion for nice. art. And uh, when so I was in the wonderful. hospital last year, they left the chalkboard because they said that was mine. Oh. They didn't erase it. Wow. They didn't put anything new up until I got out of the hospital. Praise God. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. Sweet. And when I got out of the hospital and went back to church, they had wrote, Welcome Back Rob on the chalkboard. Nice. And there was cards. All, I mean, four by eight chalkboard. There was cards all around the chalkboard. Did you miss church for a year? I missed church for about three months. Oh, three months. Okay. Yeah, three months. For the time that you were the in time the I was in the hospital, wow. yeah. Praise God, you're alive and, and well to be yeah. able to talk with us and, and to do this ministry. Yeah, it was quite a year. Yes. I'm looking forward to what God has in store for me with this. It's going to be great. So the night that we do the um, painting at the upper room, yes. you said it's going to be a beach scene. What kind of material are we going to be working with? Uh, we're going to be working on a 16 by 20 canvas, Yay. and we're going to be using uh, acrylic paint. Um, That's awesome. If you think it might be a little sloppy, you're yep, welcome to bring probably. your own apron <laughs> or wear some older clothes. Uh, dress up. <laughs> and there's no age limit. So if somebody oh, wants to come with their kids, you know, they can bring their mm -hmm. kids because, again, there's no alcohol. It's not a bar. Right. You know, so we have families come at the last one at church, you know, mother and daughter, Father and son, nice. whoever wants to come. That sounds great. How many people can we have? I believe we can uh, comfortably up there at the upper room. I think we can fit 50 painting. Oh, painting, yeah. Painting. I was gonna, yeah, because okay. it's different than a, a concert, and a you know. Night we have to set that up. holds 100. And, right. Okay. You know, the setup is a little different. We have to do okay. rows of tables. That's we right, have to have. We can maybe do another. Oh, definitely. Another if it, time. If it goes if it well, goes, we'll definitely do another one. Most definitely. That would be great if it goes well. It's all in God's hands. It really is. It's His is. ministry. 
It mm. really is. And we have uh, 10 minutes to the show still. Um, so feel free to, you know, elaborate on anything that, that you think or you want to talk about. Okay. Um, I mean, we can even, how did you even, you know, start going to church or, or well, know the Lord? Well, I can. At, on a personal level. Yeah. Um, if we go back to junior high. Okay. When I met Mike. Uh, it was one summer I went to a VBS at my aunt's church. I was 14 years old. Now, VBS, if you're watching, is Vacation, Vacation Bible School. Bible School. <laughs> and it was at Great Rhode Island Baptist Temple. Okay. I'll never forget. And uh, that was the year I accepted the Lord as my Savior. Okay. And uh, started my journey. And for a year or so, my parents, we were Catholic at the time. Okay. Um, we switched over and we started going there for church. And after wow. about a year or so, my mom and dad thought it was odd that a 14-year-old was carrying a Bible around with him. Which was you? Which was me. Oh, okay. So we, uh, we ended up going back to the Catholic Church. I don't get it. <laughs> and, you know, my, my thirst that was being uh, quenched there, oh, no. <laughs> you know, it wasn't being quenched anymore. Not to say one church is better Why, than the other. Don't the Catholic churches have Bibles? Uh, they, do don't, they, they don't around? tell you to go read them, though. They do. They, they, they read them to you I on a know. Sunday. When you, you know, when you go on a Sunday, you have your first reading, your second reading. You know, they do a little thing from the gospel. Okay. But they don't really push, at least they didn't then, push mm. the reading of the Bible. Okay. You know, the feeding of the Word, and you okay. need that. Gotcha. And uh, it wasn't until many years later, uh, I was married in the, in the Catholic Church to my first wife. I am divorced and remarried. Okay. Um, and what happened was, you know, my first wife, and we were going to the Catholic Church faithfully. Um, things did not go well. We ended up divorced. She went to the Catholic Church and asked for an annulment which mm -hmm. I took as a slap in the face because we had a relationship. If we didn't have a relationship, we wouldn't have gotten married. Right. And uh, I even went and I sat down with the bishops at, at the Diocese of Providence, sat with them for three hours. Right, right. You know, them asking me questions, what, what happened here, what happened there. And after everything was said and done, they still granted her the annulment. Mm -hmm. Cost her $2,800, but they did it. Right. And at that point, I lost faith in everything because the right. Catholic Church was what I had. I lost faith in everything. And uh, I went off the deep end. Mm. I went off the deep end for quite a while. I, was, yeah. I got into all the New Age holistics and drumming circles and you name it, I was doing it. Why, is that a bad thing, a drumming circle? Well, I love the drums. It was, it was borderline witchcraft. Oh. You know, using tarot cards, things like oh, that. Oh, yeah, that's not yeah. good. So I was, okay. I was on that edge. And I think the Lord let me wow. go to that edge because today, things that I've learned and things that I saw when I was over mm -hmm. there, you know, I can witness to people that are there. Absolutely. And show them the true way of life, where to go, and, you know, who to follow, and that's right. Jesus. Amen. And uh, Amen. it wasn't until... You know, I got to the point where um, my wife and I, my new wife, uh, even at the point when we got married, we weren't, neither one of us were in church. Uh, we got married in Connecticut over at Chapel by the Sea, you know, barefoot on the water. Oh, no, Chapel by the Sea. You know, and we That's got... That's funny. We got to a point in our relationship where things were rocky. And I said, we need to get to church. Right. And she agreed to go to church, and we started going to church. Not the chapel by the sea, though. No, we were, at that point, we were going to Trinity uh, Assembly of oh, God good, in good. Johnston. <laughs> and we were both saved. My daughter was saved. You know, not that I wasn't okay. saved already, but I felt right. I needed to recommit myself to the Lord. Right. Now, and, I mean, for someone listening, they might be like, what does that mean, saved? Can you explain that a little to someone sure. who might not? Sure. Uh, that means, even, you know... Oh, we have five minutes, by the way. All so. right. That means, that, you know, <laughs> to be saved, you realize that there's nothing you can do in this world to make it to heaven. 
no matter how good you think you are, no matter how many good deeds you do, there's nothing you can do that can remove the sin that you have on you. And we all have it. And the only thing that can wash it away is the blood of Christ. And we, to be saved, you have to accept the fact that that's the only way to remove your sin. And you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And he comes into your life and you're as, as white as snow now because your, his righteousness becomes your righteousness. Nice. And then you're accepted into heaven. And you got nothing to worry about once you die. You know where you're going. You, you, you have your, your retirement, shall we say, <laughs> planned out. You know, and the Lord tells us in the Bible that his, his mansion has many rooms and he's going to go and prepare one for us. Amen. You know, and, and that's, that's all part of it. Is there a the, certain prayer that you say? Do you remember? Or do uh, you know I, I know they refer to it as the sinner's prayer. Okay. Uh, and basically it's just acknowledging your sin, acknowledging that the only way for it to be removed is, is to ask Jesus to come into your life and, and cleanse you. All right. You know, and be your, be your savior. Amen. Well, we probably have about uh, four, three minutes left to the show. <clears throat> so in the, in the next three minutes, um, is there anything? I want to tell everybody to get out to the upper room yes. on October 27th. <laughs> Come enjoy a night of yes. painting. Uh, Mike will be there. I'll be there painting. You'll be there painting. <laughs> I'm hoping I can get Mike to come up on stage with me while I'm painting and yes. tell a few jokes. Do some comedy. I'll go up with him. There we go. You we know. do like a dual thing. And, and <laughs> the, the fellowship. You know, that it's all about good. the fellowship. <clears throat> you know, whether you're in a church, you're not in a church, it's a relaxed atmosphere. If you want to learn about God, we can tell you all about him. Uh, if you want to learn how to paint, we can do that too. Hey. You know, if you want to uh, <laughs> have great. some cake and enjoy that, you can do that in the, the kitchen there as well. That's right. You know, there's a lot going on that night and we're looking forward to having a packed house. Yes. You know. I just wanted to let people know too, um, all the food is still going to be a dollar. All the food and That's and actually going to be up to, I think, you and Mike. Yeah. Okay. So usually... Uh, don't hold me to this, but usually all the food and drinks are one dollar. So where can you go to ha have yeah, a great exactly. paint night and popcorn for a dollar? We have just a couple more minutes to the show. That's another um, thing I'll mention is the, the cost involved. Okay. Most paint nights, if you go to book one of them locally, you're looking at $45 for a paint night. Even oh, if okay. you get a group on, really? it's usually $30. Okay. We charge 25 and it covers everything. Wow, I was going to say that. And that yeah. still gives us the ability to That's donate wonderful. a large portion of the proceeds to the, to the upper room. That's reasonable. Well, I think we uh, have maybe a half a minute, one minute left to our 30 show. Seconds. So thank you so much, Rob. Thank you for having for me. Thank you for all this time. Thank you so much for watching our show. We do appreciate um, you tuning in to Changing Lives, and we believe that by some way uh, your life is changed Amen. by watching the show some way, shape, or form, right? Uh, and we will have Rob on again. He may do a paint Yeah, a sounds paint good. Show. We'll bring the and easel. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so stay tuned um, for the next time that we are on. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you. God bless. Thank you. Thank and you. We can keep talking.